Hi folks, Carol Ann here from SassyTownhouseLiving.com and today I wanted to share with you this mandolin that I got from Amazon. I bought it in, um, just the other day and I'm not exactly sure what company it is. It says ORB, so I guess it's Orb. But um, I'll have the links and information where I got this from. And the reason why I bought this particular one is because it had good ratings and it looked like a decent um, mandolin. So it comes with this little brochure. I guess it's instructions on um, how to use it. So there's that. Nothing else in the box. And my plan is I want to specifically use this for uh, zucchini chips with ranch dressing flavoring to it. So um, I needed a good mandolin to slice them with and I figured I would give this one a try. So I'm going to show you how I use it and how I make my chips as well. I've been on this keto diet and I miss potato chips. So I figured it would be a nice alternative to be able to have um, zucchini chips, which are a healthy alternative and low carb. So, so far, this is what we have. Seem to be packaged okay. And once I clean up this mess and wash this all down. This is nice, comes with a nice cleaning brush. And this is your guard. So you would stick your vegetables in there where that spiky area is. And it has a nice stand. It, uh, I think it cost me, I wanna say $36 but I have to double check. Yes, there were cheaper ones, but I wanted to get one that would last and that was adjustable. And this had some features. If you could see the knobs, yes, it's by Orb. If you could see the knobs on the side, it lets you adjust like the different levels. So um, yeah, I could see this going down. See, so that would control the thickness of whatever I'm cutting, and that's what I wanted. I want to get some nice, ooh, that's sharp. I want to get some nice thin slices for my zucchini chips, and this looks like the perfect tool to do that. So let me get this mess cleaned up, and I'm going to show you how it slices with my zucchini, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I discovered what these knobs do and what they're for. If you look underneath, there's, um, a plastic protected area where there's two sets of blades. So we have like finer blades here, thicker, wider blades there. Now when you pull this handle up, you pull it up and then you rotate. And whatever one you rotate, you could see it right there. See, that's where it goes. So if you wanted to like grate cheese or you know, whatever you want to use them for. So there's the thicker one and the thinner one. So there's two types. Or you could choose none. You leave it in the middle. So like for me, I'm going to slice my zucchini into chips and I don't want a blade here. So I'm leaving that off. This knob here, you pull it out and then, like I said before, that rotates this piece right here. You just pull it out and I can have thicker slices, as you could see or rotate it back up and get nice thin. So thick, thin, okay? So that's what that's for. And this lever here, we have on and off, on and off. And let's see what that says, dicing switch. So that's your dicing switch. You could either have that on or off. Um, Okay, oh, I see. So here, if you want a julienne, make sure doing, make sure the dicing switch is off. Okay? So that's what that's for. So if you wanted to julienne some fries, you have to make sure the dice, that makes sense, to make sure the dicing switch is off. Okay, paste to read. So now I'm going to 
try slicing my zucchini chips and I'll show you what that's like. Okay, so I tested it out and it sliced really nice. These were too thick and this size was good for my chips. And I have to say, it does do a good job at slicing. So this is what I got. And it did do an excellent job at slicing. So this is perfect for my zucchini chips. Um, I think that'll make a nice size chip. Um, some of them are actually better than others, but um, I was kind of playing around with this to, to adjust it, and um, I can do it a tad bit higher. I think I'll try that setting and see how it goes. Okay, so I pretty much figured it out. Um, make sure that this plastic piece is in track on line here, and then just cut your vegetable, push this down, and slice and then you get some really nice slices I have to say this works really good so I'm pretty much pleased in order for this piece not to move around I had to put that in the middle and then this is just a little clumsy to keep it um, on track but once you get used to it it slices pretty flawlessly okay so there we go and I got some beautiful slices for my zucchini chips so overall I'm pretty impressed with this julienne it's made very well and once you kind of get used to it it slices really nice now I haven't tried obviously making um, like french fries or anything like that but um, just my overall impression is I like this and I'm definitely going to keep it. I'm not going to send it back. So now I'm off to make my zucchini chips. I'm pretty excited to be able to make these zucchini ranch chips. And I've already sliced my zucchini with my new mandolin. I want to make this delicious low carb recipe and um, I'm pretty excited because I heard these are delicious and I miss my potato chips because I'm on this keto diet so I thought this would be the next best alternative to have some delicious zucchini chips so all you need to do is slice your zucchini chips to your desired thickness I wanted mine to be on the thin side but not like paper thin so I got them ready and then I got two packets of Hidden Valley um, Ranch dip mix and all you need is some olive oil or regular oil I'm using regular oil and some salt and pepper and you can use um, any other spices in here that you like obviously so if you like oregano or any other spices you can just add it in but for me this is perfect for my taste so I'm just going to dump them in a larger bowl now some of my chips came out um, a little thinner than others because I was like in the process of testing my mandolin but that's okay we're going to use them all so what I'm going to do is open up my ranch dressing get that ready and then I'm going to drizzle some like a tablespoon or so of olive oil and just give it a good mix so that your zucchini chips get coated pretty well I mean, you don't want too much oil just enough to coat your chips and then I'm going to season with some salt and pepper I'm a spicy kind of gal, so I like a lot of pepper. Give that a little bit of a stir. And then I think I'll add just a touch more oil for good measure. And give them a good stir. And then I'm going to sprinkle in my ranch dressing. I'm going to do it one packet at a time. Just 
just mix it around well and then I'm going to put my second packet in give it a good stir it smells good and in the meanwhile I've got my oven on uh, preheat they recommend you put it at 2 like 25 but I put my preheat like on 250 I like my chips really crispy so I'm gonna make sure that they're cooked nice and brown and now once I see that these are nice and coated I'm going to take them out and lay them on a cookie sheet they said it'll take about an hour and 20 minutes for them to get nice and crispy. So in the oven they go.